What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH2 blobs for your device for future downgrades with Prometheus application on Windows. So yesterday I created a tutorial on my channel right here on how to save them on a Mac with uh, TSS Checker and with Ticketbox. But unfortunately, some of you told me that you are on Windows and the TSS Checker is broken. It doesn't work on Windows pretty well. It gives some random error. And Ticketbox doesn't exist for Windows. So what Windows users should do? Well, you can try to, to fix the uh, TSS uh, Checker, but it's kind of hard for a beginner, or you can use the new method that I have for you and it's online. Some of you told me about it and it's pretty cool. It's shsh2bloopssaver.onekonen.com, uh, right. So let's see what you should do in order to use this, uh, this thing. There is a tutorial on uh, Reddit as well, but it's written. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. At first, you need to select, of course, your device from here. In my case, it's an iPhone and it's an iPhone 6. Check this thing out to make sure you're not a robot. <laughs> then you need to select what type of ACID do you have, uh, hex or decimal. Right, so there are two types of um, ACIDs and there are two ways to get them on the tutorial. First, you need to get them either from iTunes or from Cydia if you're jailbroken. Well, if you're not jailbroken and you don't take it from UDID calculator from Cydia, then you have it in a hex format from iTunes. If you take it from Cydia, it's decimal. Right, so I'm going to select hex because I'm going to use the uh, iTunes and simply navigate here. You need to put your device in recovery mode. Recovery mode is that mode when, uh, you know, you have your uh, iTunes logo on your screen and so on. Right, and you have this screen right here. You need to simply press here on the serial number and it will transform in ACID. You can take it, right click and copy, and go on the website, paste it in the ACID field, and simply click submit. It will take a couple of seconds and it will fetch all the bloops for all the uh, currently signed versions available for your device. And it will give you this, device identifier already added. Right, I'm going to go here and as you can see it gives you a link and in the link you have a couple of folders, right? You need to simply click download zip or you can save it on your um, Google Drive or Dropbox. I would recommend you to do both of them. I'm going to save them as zip and in the zip you're going to have a couple of folders. I'm going to simply extract the folder to show you what's inside. Right, you need to make sure you keep this folder extremely safe. I don't know, put it on a disk, uh, save it on a floppy disk. I, I just don't have any idea, just save it. Uh, and in the folder you have the uh, blobs for all currently signed versions, including 10.1, 10.1.1 and 10.2. 10.1.1 is the one that interests you because it's going to be jailbroken. A jailbreak is already available in a bare bone state and you can check it out on my channel right here. As you can see, there is a um, video up here, a video up here, and a video up here uh, about this. I'm gonna link them in the description down below. And you need to, uh, to check it out. As you can see, you have a couple of folders in here with different nonces and one with no app knowns. Right, so if you go in here, you have the bloops exactly for your device and it's SHSH2. Now, let me explain the SHSH2 and um, the differences between the normal SHSH and this new format. See, Tiny Umbrella was an application created to save uh, these bloops, this SHSH bloops, back in the time when Limerain exploit was up and so on. Well, it no longer works for saving them because it doesn't save the correct format. So if you have previously saved bloops from, I don't know, any other software, it won't work. You need to save them right now with these in order to make sure it will work with Prometheus. If you don't save your bloops correctly, it won't work and you won't be able to downgrade in the future. Now, Tim Starr created an application called Prometheus and he's going to release it soon. So. He advised us, everybody, to save our blobs. Now, saving them means that you will be able to have the key to actually downgrade back to 10.1.1 at any point 
in time, even after Apple will unsign the iOS 10.1.1. And for the moment, iOS 10.1.1, it's signed, but it won't stay this way too much because as I said, there are exploits that are available for jailbreaking the iOS 10.1.1 already. And iOS 10.2 is already up and iOS 10.2.1 beta is already up on the developer pages, which means that iOS 10.1.1 days are counted. So. Do your job now, go save your blobs, you won't regret it, because if you don't, you will cry later. Uh, actually, what this does is to allow you to downgrade to 10.1.1 at any point using that, that tool, which is extremely important and it's very, very great to have the ability to switch from a firmware to another. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and save them. It saves them on a various format and it saves them for including the latest version 10.2 and the only signed version. So for example, you're not able to, to go back to 9.3.3 using this tool because 9.3.3 is no longer signed. And some of you can ask me, but what if my phone is for the moment on iOS 9.3.3? Nope, you won't be able to extract the bloops from it. Uh, the uh, firmware has to be signed in order to get bloops for it. So for example, if iOS 10.1.1 will no longer be signed tomorrow, you will no longer be able to save bloops for it, only for 10.2. This is why I tell you move now. The website is in the description, of course, as you can see, it's free, so you don't have to pay anything for saving the bloops, but a small donation to the creator, uh, one Conan, wouldn't be bad because you know, servers have to be kept running and so on. So this is it guys. I really hope you will understand the, um, the importance of saving your bloops right now. And also be sure to check out the forum because on the forum we discuss about iOS and so on, jailbreaking and lots of, of stuff. And you can ask me anything you need. If you don't know the model of your device, you can simply find it right here on the iPhone wiki. I'm going to let this page in the description down below. Be sure to check out my jailbreak related um, videos for iOS 10.1.1 to understand better why it's important to be able to switch back to 10.1.1 when Apple will kill it. And do not update, yeah, do not update to 10.2. You can't be serious updating to 10.2 when a jailbreak is available for 10.1.1 and for 10.2 is not. Forgot to tell you, if you want to check out the uh, TSS checker tool created by Timstar, the same guy behind the Prometheus downgrade tool, then you can go ahead right here on his GitHub and get the project. You can also get the pre-compiled version for uh, Mac OS, Linux or Windows, but the Windows version has a problem. That's why we didn't use it in this video. And the problem is that when you try to open the application and try to save something, it gives you an error about the uh, firmware.gson file, which isn't saved properly by the application. You can try to fix that if you're a programmer and you, you think it's more reliable to, to go with the application by going to TSS checker and then going to the uh, TSS checker.c and finding where it saves the, uh, the file. I think it's here. Now, this is the file that gets saved. Now you just need to find where it's the module that saves it to the uh, updata temp. All right. Right, here is a code that actually gives you the error parsing the firmware.json uh, failed and you have to understand why it does that. I, I can't do it right now, but I'm going to try to pull a, uh, a request with a modified project on the, uh, the GitHub in order to fix the application. I'm going to also communicate with Pimstar, but I think he already knows about the error, although it doesn't seem to be... Uh, prepared for now. That's why we didn't use it. So that's why for the moment it's more reliable to use the uh, the website, but you can check out the tool if you want. So this is it guys, subscribe to stay updated. Make sure you click that little bell uh, when you subscribe to get the notifications to be able to do the actions right when you need to do them. Because if you see this video, I don't know, five months from now, then there would be no point into doing it. So make sure you activate that little bell to receive the notifications to be able to get the information and do the things while it's still possible. So yeah, this is it guys. I'm Joe Snow. Peace out.